You can create named ranges in Excel, and they're very useful if you want to create a drop down list or you can use those ranges in formulas. I'm going to show you how to name this list, then use that name in a drop down, and then later change the name if we made a mistake or had to add something at the bottom. So to name the range, I'm going to select all the employee names, click in the name box and type a one word name and I'll call this EMP for employees list and that will be all one word, EMP list and then press the enter key and that name is completed. So I can click away from that, go back to the name box and I'll see the name when I select it, it selects that list. We can use that in a drop down. So in this cell, I'll color it yellow so we can find it later. To create the list, I'll go to data, data validation, and instead of allowing any value, I'll select list. And as the source, I'm going to use that list I created by using its name here. On the keyboard, press the F3 function key. And you can see a list of all the names. So I'll click on that one, click OK, and it puts that name with an equal sign in front of it. Click OK, and now we have a drop down that shows all those names. But if you made a mistake or you have to put a new name at the bottom, how do we change that? Because Hal isn't showing up here. If I select Implist, it stops at Gil instead of Hal. So to change this, I'll go to the Formulas tab, click Name Manager, and we can see all the names that are in this workbook. And here's the EMP list, and at the bottom it shows Refers To. If I click in here, it highlights the cells that are in that range, and it's stopping at 9. I can just delete that 9, I'll backspace, type a 10 instead, and I'll click this check mark. Now if I click in here again, it's selecting all those names. So I'll click close, I'll click away, go back and select EMPLIST, and now we've redefined that range so all the employee names are selected there. And over here we can see HAL included in the list. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.